All right, join us today. We have an epic day of cobia fishing and red snapper fishing. We had some big boys here. So uh, join us. Like and subscribe to this video. We got a lot of good content coming up, a lot of good offshore stuff. So you want to see more stuff like this? Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Getting bites, bro. Let me slide past it. What do we think it is? I don't know. The bottom? No, it's not bottom. How much junk you got on that? It's pulling. Be nice if it was a nice cobia. What kind of bait did you have on there? A uh, swift. Oh shit! <laughs> what are you guys doing back there? I don't see any action. How's it feel to be the big famous bass fisherman? I'm the best bass fisherman. <laughs> See, and you wanted to give up. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> oh, man, I need that ball thing. Oh, you want Ken's, Ken's ball thing? You got him, he's almost up. What are you getting tired? No, it's just hurt. It's hurt my groin. Nice and easy. Don't don't um, keep constant pressure on that fish. Don't like jerk it up and down. There you go. Nice old. What is that? Tacovia. Give me the gas, Ryan. Gas. Keep nice and easy. There's another cobia following him up too. Right, grab a grab a pitch bait. Another cobia right here, Ken. Ryan, get that get that one rod out there. Look at this nice cobia. He's a keeper. Oh. Hey, hey, Ryan, throw this. Oh, there's, there's three bait. more cobia. There's three right over here. See them? You think you maybe pick another Ken, one? Ken, you got yeah, yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> Not that bait, Ryan. No, get the circle. They want the circle hook on it. What do you got, Ken? I have no idea what I got. What are you doing, Ken? <laughs> what do you want? You want a squid? Yeah, oh. whatever. Just give me something to throw at him. Yeah, bring it over here. You can throw it at him. Ken's probably got a cobia too. Son of a bitch. Oh, he's fighting. Where's the other one? Or you gotta put that big squid on there. Hey Ryan, come over here. Get some filmography. Just bring that bait. Oh shit. Just cracked your rod. Nice, just nice and easy on him. Hey Ryan, I need some help. Broke a rod. I'm this big cobia. Here. Come here, Ryan. Here, I'm just gonna gaff him. Yes. There we go. Oh. Woo! Yeah, boy. This boy got to be on there. Nice. Oh, yeah. 
right. There's your jump. There he is, guys. Come here. All right. Look at that. We said we should bleed him. All right, Ken's cutting his other one, so get on that one. Sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad. We won't have any. They say we should bleed them. No. Good steamer. He's good. All right. I thought he was good. Always good to double check. All right, we're going to... Uh... Ken, how you doing over there? I'm doing. I don't want to come to the boat, though. He's running out. Give me one of those knives. I got to cut. I'm going to bleed them real quick. Oh, I think I see color. Okay. Hey, uh, David, can you reel on that reel that's on that, that tan one? All right, perfect. Yeah, thanks. Another one. Yep. Where's that other pitch rod? Just in case there's another one coming up. Ah. Hey, go on again. There he's behind him. Uh, throw at it. Uh, hey, that, David, grab that rod. My rod put back that, there. Put that squid on that rod right there and, and yeah. throw it out at him. Yeah. This rod? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Well, yeah there's one right underneath him. Put, uh, put a bigger squid on. Squid's right behind you. They grabbed this thing alive. Now we want to let you fight him. <laughs> Take a line again. Here, I'll get him. You get that other rod out because you can get that other cove. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Zero to hero in two seconds. Hero to zero. Ah, doesn't want to come. Alright, we're See any other ones? No. Maybe we gotta go back to the spot. Yeah, here Ken. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold that, just hold it straight and I see you. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this guy up. What do you think guys? Woo! Ling suckerfish. Look at those spines there. Oh solid fish there all right let's go get some more all right we're bleeding them one broken rod Give me a little more uh scope on that hose Oh, 
Bloody ducks. Yeah, All right, let's go get some more guys. What do you got there? All right, we're on the flat line. He ate it in about two minutes. We've been cut off a few times, so this guy's got some decent drag. They went a little tiny hook, so you gotta be cognizant of that. Usually Amberjack won't eat a dead bait. This was a dead sardine. All of two minutes. We've been cut off twice, so how far out was it? Uh, 50 feet, 60 feet? We're about annihilated. drag off when you get it close to the boat. Snapper, there you go. Woo! Good job. Well, we can't. Keep yeah, that's a big one. <clears throat> there he is, right there. Let's get him. Nice. Send him back down. I like it. There he goes. All right, we'll get back out of here. All right. <laughs> We got two solid fish out over here. I want to drop down it over It's a good one. There's David's right there. Boom. Whoa, that's a monster. If you want to get one with a black dot on it, though. <clears throat> Get on some more. Oh wait, we got David over here. David wants a picture. Okay. Don't forget about it. <laughs> I just got looking. They got him in the corner, so. Where's that? I mean, got that. There we go. One and two. Oh, look at that. Rough you off. Yeah, if you stick your fingers into the gills there, or the eyeballs, those are your two choices. Oh, that can, yeah, they can be really sharp. Here, right there. 
Go right there to that soft spot. It's not that soft. There you go. Okay. Uh, nice. Good job. Studs, yeah. You have, uh, you have your phone. You want to take a picture? It's of your phone? on. It's right, right there. Well, we'll, we'll send it to you. Okay. Can you well, can you uh, want to send the phone? It's open. It's open if you want to grab it. Okay. Blood prints may. Uh... All right, I got a couple of good ones. Change the leader of this friend. I think I'll be okay. Is it frayed? All right, there he goes. All right, there I'll go. see you in a second. What happens when you invite a bass fisherman on the boat? <sighs> Brings his bass equipment. You got him coming or what? Oh yeah! There you go. Another fish. Okay, we're gonna use try a smaller weight. This is also too big. Yep. Alright. Alright, red snapper! The red girl! They're extinct. What do we got here? What's going on with them? Something's falling them. Alright, probably not a red snapper. That's probably what it is. Alright, nice red snapper. Now we know what's about to go to the red snapper. Yeah. Did I pull them up? Yeah, you pull them up and pop them back. Just let him There he is! Hold him up for the camera. Another red. Hold up in his gills, right? Yeah. Yeah, you got that. Up. Got him. Take. Can I take that out. I don't know. I'm not a. Pick him up. Yeah? Yep. Alright, one going. Alright. Adios. There he goes. I only gotta pick him up. I got Alright. There's Junior and a the snapper. There he goes. Woo! Adios. Alright, Ken's got a nice one. Take a line. I think we got. Oh. I already had a little bit. You were the fish. fish. <laughs> he took it all. Yeah? He's a. Uh, was strong and lost it or. The lines are caught together, I think. Yeah. Oh, great. This, uh, leaguer's loose. See what you got. Maybe you're free from him? Yeah. You free? Yeah. Okay, yeah, roll yours in then. There he is. Silvery. Red snapper. Oh, God. <laughs> Isn't that big either, boy? He's all good. Hey, he's good, sir. Red snapper. Safe for red snappers, huh? Another red snapper hooked up. This was a hot red snapper bite. We're having fun. This same setup can be used to target mangoes, muttons, even grouper, cobia, African pompano. It's a solid little uh, snapper rig. 
that we're using here. You could tell the weatherman blew the forecast. You were calling for light winds under 10 miles per hour and uh, seas about, they were saying one to two or two to three. Turned out to be more like uh, three to four with the occasional five for good measure thrown in. There it is, solid fish right there. But this was a hot red snapper bite and a fun one. They're, they're fun to catch, especially on light tackle and uh, beautiful to look at. Even better to eat, but uh, federal government only gives us a few days to fish from a year. So last year we had three days to fish. Uh, the year before that, uh, it was three days to fish as well. So um, as you could tell, they're they're really not overfished. They're in you know they're a solid population and uh, in good shape, but uh, um, the government thinks otherwise. So we re we release these fish. Let them, uh, let them swim and live for another day. We'll catch them again next time. All right, Kim's got a good one on over here. Let's see what we got. A little bit rougher than expected. Got some size to him though. Nice. Red snapper. Can we eat him? Unfortunately not. All right, cool. Let's get him back out down there. Hooked up to a beautiful red snapper. We're fishing about 40 miles offshore, 35 to 40. And then we come in inshore. But we had one hot red snapper bite, as you could tell. There he comes. They're fun to catch. All right, sucked up. What do you think? Little fish? Baby? Beeliner? It's probably small. If it's small and I got the camera out for a small one, I'm going to be upset at you. Maybe I'll make you swim back. <laughs> I don't know. It's coming up pretty easy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bet it's a beeliner. 16-inch beeliner, 15-inch beeliner. There it is. Got color. Beeliner. There is a snapper. Uh, red snapper. Damn. Man. Wrong. That looks like a beeliner to me. Yeah. All right. All right. Here you go, Ryan. Oh, you got it. Where's the camera? It's on. This rod's going out. That one's going too? Yeah, I don't know. I had a fish on earlier. Sea bass, big sea bass. Take him, huh? Look at that, guys. Big old yeah. sea bass. 13 inches they have to be. All right, we're looking for the cobia. All right, should I just should I put a squid on this? Yep. All right, let's go get some more. Welcome to the fish cleaning station episode. We caught two cobia. Well, that's a fish. It's disgusting. Right now. Yeah. 
ew, 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 I'm washing it off. Ew, 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 Hey! You think it's funny? This is disgusting, this just saying. I am actually now going to do something for everybody. I'm going to wash it off. Wash this yucky fish off. So can I wash it? Okay. I want to wash it. There you go. <laughs> this was squirted off. All right, guys, we had a wonderful day of fishing. You didn't Got... even fish today. Well, we fished yesterday. Here you go. Push it up. I'm trying. It's not letting me. Can you do it? Here, we're just. Wait, move your thumb. Don't you. You gotta get the slime off these fish. Careful. We got our helper slimed up. See, the first thing we're gonna do yep. is we are gonna gut the fish. I wanna do it. Well, no, it's the sharp knife, boy. So we got two beautiful specimens here. This guy's probably about 15, 18 pounds. And this one's probably about 25 pounds. Kobe are pretty cool fish. They look like a giant catfish. You can see they have these historic uh, looking spines here that can come up. So you got to be really careful if you gaff one, they can get you right there. These things come straight up. Right? You want to feel it? It's like a little shark's tooth there, huh? Yeah. Nice and spiny. So you got to be really careful there. Like, can you like pull it up kind of like yeah, that? Yeah, see how it's going straight up? And this one doesn't really have... It the, looks this the one's blood. just developing Yuck. it. I want to see the eyeball. Like. There's the eyeball, lilac, the eyeball. I want the whole, all of the eyeball, like that whole round ear. Kobe are big schooling fish, so when you find one, you're going to find multiple. School. Schooling means that there, there's a lot of them with them. So we actually, this was the first one we caught. When we, he came up, there was another three with him. And then this guy came up, and there were there were like two with him. The ones that, this was the biggest one out of that one school there. I just want to look at okay, it. Okay, we're going to do it in a second. I want to see it school. But like I said, if you're looking for fish, this is a, a great fish. It's a really what? tender fish. It's hey. a buttery fish. Um, the eyeball is nice and clear. That's what you want to look for. So You're you can at... like cut this part open and see the really coolness, but yeah, it's it actually is. kind of like an orby. Yeah, like an orby. That's the back of the eyeball. And if so you the first look thing we're gonna do here, these fins are kind of like little waves. So like use and there's blood right here that my dad decides to do this with. We're gonna gut the fish. Lala, move your hands. Ew, ew. Usually I like to use a fillet knife, uh, glove. What the size not using it because I got squirted? Unfortunately, <laughs> autopsy here. Is there a fish inside of a fish? No, that's a stomach. Wait, what's that? What's that? Uh, that's his heart. Liver? That's his stomach right there. There's his liver. Where's his heart? Uh, it's up there. Can I see its heart? That's his liver. Do we have liver? Yep. Do we have like a fish body? Okay, Lala, I don't want to cut you. I want to see this stuff. It's pretty cool. Look at the size of his stomach. I want to see its heart. Well, we're looking for it. So we're cleaning out this cavity and make filleting a little bit easier. But where's its bones? They're in the body. So we're going to cut out this stomach here. All right, and I, I bled this fish before we put him on ice. So where's its heart? Is Let's this see. his heart? Oh, oh, actually, this is guess what? What? <laughs> no wonder why it's so big. We caught a sea bass. I put it in his mouth, and unfortunately, it, it engulfed it. So this must have been the one. So this is a legal sea bass. Oh, can I have that? That's mine. Yeah, you want to eat that one? No, that's gonna be mine though. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Can I see? It's so gross, but I don't like it. I kind of like it, I'm not for sure. You're just such see. a gross oh, See? That's a, a crab. Look at the pinchers there. Is the crab real? Yeah, that's real. No, it's the crab real. No, he's dead now, but... What else is in there? Let's see. This one spit up a live 
There's a fish. What kind of fish is that? Lana, watch your shoes, please. Autopsy report. So let's see where it's hard is. I, I keep digging this. This is my fish now. Well, I'm going to cut him up. No! Maybe, maybe that's the heart? This is really gross. Alright, so yeah, we're going to throw this away. Why? Well, do you want to eat that? No, I want to see it. Okay, there it is. What? <laughs> Here's the blue. Here's the blue crab. Or crab. This is pretty cool, though, huh? These guys love to eat crabs. All right, I gotta clean out the cavity here. I want to see it hard. I I don't know where it is. I think I think it's in that pile over there. Can I see what's in its tail? the heart no one knows it's kind of like a normal fish fillet can i see what's inside its tail yeah we're coming down here these fish have huge heads i mean look at the size that is can nice I and hard it? yeah it is really hard yeah it really is hard like a like a kind of like a brock for the caveman time it's kind of like that oh yeah yeah do you know like what like how long have these been around so we're gonna go along the back one here you're the worst i'm doing this i'm doing this vlog straight along the back one you'll feel the, the ribs you know you are seriously dad seriously what Lana? you should start by doing the head first that you did that what I want to see what's inside of it, though. I'm nervous, though. What are you nervous about? Like, I want to see, like, what's inside. Like, go, it's, the like, head? put my hand in, my, in the mouth. Wait, what are those? Oh, that's where we gaffed it. What's gaffed it? We gaffed the... Kid eye? We brought it in the boat. Just back up a little bit. Yeesh. Get hands up thing. Okay. All right, so we're going to go around... The stomach area. I really, really. These fish come in during seriously? the winter time, and they congregate. You know, you're looking for big ledges and big. Uh, My dad, he thinks that these might be good for fishing tournaments. Yep. Yeah, but watch this. Like, what's in its mouth? All right, so we're coming over here. Look at that nice white meat. It's a buttery flavor. We're gonna go around the ribs there. And if you look right here, it's kind of like a blue area. -ish. And hey, Lana. If you look right here, they're kind of like a bluish, goldish. And if you look right here, the eyeballs kind of like really, really wobbly, wobbly. They're really hard to cut out too. And if you look here, there's kind of like a golden A thing. All like right. right, I'm picking. No, we're doing the cobia first, way. Hey, you're okay. not cutting up this thing. I'm giving that to my mom for a okay, prank. Okay, you can give it to her as a prank. Wow. And if you look here too, it's kind of like a, like a, like a little thing like that. And the scales are really, really sharp. Now I know some people like to eat the ribs, so we may try the ribs. Yeah. The cobia. Dad, this is the most disgusting thing you thought all day. Really? Yes. Wait, did you cut this one before? I've cut a few. No, did you cut this one before? Wait. Wait, can I see this? This other one. You, did you just do this one? Which one? This one. No, not yet. All right, so like, there's... If you look here, like the eyeballs. You can see how white that like, meat is. Like, okay, now my turn. If you look here, the eyeballs can really squeeze in, like a kind of like a, like a squishy. Try not to waste any extra And fish. try not to like look here. It's kind of like tree bark. It looks like like little waves, like tree bark. If you look on like on the skin where the heart is, because it's like hard as a tree, you know. And if you look here, that this one is really really squishy. Uh, like where it's stomach near part is, it's fish. kind of like really. Stupid. They're easier to flay when they're. Yes. When and like that. If you want to look at its mouth a little bit, it doesn't have any really teeth, but. Yep, there's no teeth in the cobia. It's just no. show them that way. Can, I don't know it's how. It's like more I, of like a bass almost. I would they're a little tiny teeth. It's like I mean they can still kind of hurt you, but. In my turn to vlog. Also, I'm starting my own YouTube channel. My first episode is gonna start in like five minutes. All right, thank you for that. All right, Lilac, come on. So, so we're gonna we're gonna skin it as well. 
What's like the kind Watch of this finger, part? Lara. It's actually really cool because I've always like wanted to know like. Skinless, it's... boneless. Where's the bone? What's that? That's the love of the skin. Is That's there... a solid piece of meat right there. All right, we're gonna we're gonna see you back in the kitchen. I come back with this. You have another cobia. I know. All right, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we have a beautiful cobia that we caught and we're gonna blacken it. So we got some, uh, about two tablespoons of butter. Oops, flying butter. I'm gonna throw that on. We're gonna warm it up. So while that's heating up, we have a white uh, flaky fish. It's a firm fish. It's almost a buttery texture. Here you go. This was a beautiful loin off this fish here. You can see there's really not much of a bloodline. I cut it out uh, pretty much at the table, but uh, this is the other side of it. But it's, a, it's like, almost like a steak. You can think of it. So we're going to use Chef Prudhomme's black and redfish spice. So here we go. This is uh, good stuff. They want you to, uh, first step we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to cut the pieces up into small finger sizes. So I would say let's, let's go like this. That's a nice solid piece there. Beautiful portions here. And then we have a little bit of the, the belly meat as well. So that was something different. I know on the, uh, when we tried the, the, the uh, blackfin tuna, the belly meat was one of the best parts of it. So, and this was just a little bit up next to the, uh, the backbone where we pulled it out. So anyway. The recommendations is we need a really hot pan. So that's that, that's heating right now. Heating up. And we also need a lemon, right? This is our homegrown lemon. We live in Florida, so it's one of the uh, benefits of living here. We get seasonal fruit. So what we're going to do is we're going to coat the fish with a little bit of olive oil. You can also use butter as well. The recipe actually calls for butter, but how fat do you want to be? So we, uh, we're we gonna coat it in some olive oil. And this is one of our favorite ways to, to make this recipe. So we're gonna liberally, liberally coat the fish. Get a good massage in there too. So it's an interesting, it's like a firmer fish, but it, it is really, it's a, it's a good fish. You don't really see it in the fish market too often. You'll see it every once in a while. You'll see it in a restaurant every so often. But uh, it's a delicious fish. It's one of those that you, you don't really, you can't really target them necessarily. Certain times of the year you can catch them more often. But uh, like this is, we're in that one of those times of the year. They'll come, uh, you know, within 30 miles of shore and, and, you know, they'll hang out on the wrecks and big ledges and, and they're kind of swimming through, so they're pelagic fish. All right, so that butter's getting ready. I'm going to flip this side over here. Probably don't need any extra olive oil. Plenty here. All right, so that's coated. Look at that, right on there, boom. And we're gonna come over to this, the pan over here. Here we go. I always have some extra butter on standby, just in case. When that looks ready to go, they usually recommend a skillet, but we do not have a skillet. Maybe we'll get one. Now these thicker flays are gonna take a little bit to cook, a little bit of time to cook. Now this is not a fishy fish. I know some fish are definitely fishy. But we're probably gonna need, what, four to five minutes on each side, this high temperature. So let's get it going.
It's a very muscular fish. It's one of those, when you feel it, it's, man, that's all muscle. But when you taste it, it's, it's, a, it's a different surprise. I'm gonna get a spatula out here. See how white it's getting there? Now there's a few other ways that we like to cook it. One is like with a lemon buttery sauce and you can grill it. Uh, a little bit of pepper on it as well. We would do it that way today, but it's, uh, it's dark outside, so. Smelling good. Just like all fish, this one you don't want to overcook, so keep that in mind. See how it's coming up, just that whiteness there. And you always have that extra butter nearby in the event you need it. We have our lemons ready to go, so we'll add some lemon juice at the end. And this fish was swimming around 24 hours ago, so you can't get much fresher than that. And it's a perfect eating size. This one was about 25 pounds. All right, let's give it a flip and see how we're at, how we're looking. That looks, that looks pretty solid. We're still on that, the medium high heat. And this fish goes, lives all the way up to what, New York, and it goes down to Brazil, and they actually farm raise cobia as well. It's a, it's a fast growing fish um, that does well in aquaculture. It's not super fast like a, like a mahi mahi, but uh, it, is, it is one that uh, they've had success raising in a farm. But this one's wild caught. He actually ate a squid. The muscular fish, so it's kind of hard to tell. Let's see what it looks like here, but a lot of nice spices on that. I think it's getting close. Let me just take a little, try a little piece. No, we still got a ways away. Squeeze a little lemon on it now. Well, you can smell the lemon there. You gotta try not to set off the fire detector in your house. That's one of the things that's blackened. I 
I think we're getting close to some of these. Yeah. So you can see in there it's nice and white. I'm kind of cheating a little bit, but it can go a little bit longer. It's a little translucent, but it's getting very close. It's always sometimes better to, to undercook it than, uh, than to overcook it, because overcooking is not good. But there's usually a lot of, uh, several restaurants here in town that will have this on the menu every so often. And they always do a great job with it as well. And if you happen to catch one, you can bring it into a restaurant if you're not comfortable cooking it. I think we're getting there. there. These were such thick pieces. So you can see in there how it's a little bit translucent. So it's just such a thick piece. I'm going to add a little extra butter. Might turn it down a little bit to a little bit above medium. Nice butter bath. Nicely look at that. I think we're getting super close. I bet you these guys are done. So we've got one more flip. Uh, let's see how this looks. I'm gonna cut into it. Cut the other side, so that's done. That's done, a little bit moist in there. Let's see how these other guys are doing. These guys are probably done too. I'm gonna pour on our plate. The official. Yeah. These guys are almost done too. They're just a little bit thicker. And we got these little strips here. I might actually... Uh, those will take all of two seconds. That belly meat there. That's the belly meat right there. That. You see it's breaking apart there? That's a telltale sign. Alright, this guy's looking good. I wonder how good that was. The belly meat. Flip this guy once. To probably kill the power on the stove. Here we go. This guy's done on while well, that's finishing up. All right. As I said, two seconds there. 
That is done. That is gonna be done. And that guy is done. See how it's just white there. Two seconds to cook. All right, so you can let this rest. We have a little bit of extra lime, uh, lemon. Squeeze it on there. Add a little extra flavor. With that, and we can serve one with it. Plate it. Someone wants it. And there you have it. Blackened cobia, huh? Fresh caught. Grab a uh, fork. And let's try some. Let's try the new one. Nice fish. There it is, right there. That's really good. You can taste the buttery flavor. It's a thick, it's a thick piece. Like I said, muscular. <clears throat> Flavorful. Healthy. This is a healthy fish, so keep that in mind. Um, hope you guys like this video. Like and subscribe. We've got a lot of good content coming up, so uh, stay tuned. We'll see you next time.